Grab yourself a shield and a mace, because today we'll be hacking and slashing our way through decades worth of the darkest dungeons. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 dungeon crawlers. Number 10, Demon Souls. Kicking off our list is the throwback game that's less about crawling and more about extreme punishment. This romp tells the tale of a land covered in a dense fog where a demon and his minions feast on the souls of mankind. Coincidentally, you are the only warrior that can stop them. Prepare to die. A lot. Number 9, Torchlight. A modern take on a classic formula, Torchlight's popularity can probably be traced back to its similarities to another franchise that will remain nameless for the time being. Despite its lack of multiplayer, Torchlight succeeded in scratching that mouse click induced itch that so many gamers were feeling in 2010. Number 8, Nox. Developed by the now defunct Westwood Studios, this adventure is centered on a young man named Jack who is pulled into a fantasy-filled parallel universe. There, he must defeat an evil sorceress and her army of necromancers in order to return home. To do so, he can become a warrior, conjurer, or wizard. Each choice spurs a very different storyline and ending. Number 7, Titan Quest. This game and its expansion, Immortal Throne, are centered on Greek mythology, namely the end of communication between humanity and the gods. As such, players take on the role of a hero fighting creatures through ancient Greece, ancient Egypt, and Asia. Not only showcasing ragdoll physics and day and night cycles, this game featured over a thousand pieces of usable equipment and up to six people could play together online. Number 6, Dungeon Siege. A fantasy RPG, this game takes place in the kingdom of Ebb. There, savage creatures called the Krug have suddenly attacked your farming community. Seeking out help from the neighboring town of Stonebridge, others join your quest, before you discover that the entire kingdom is under attack. Becoming a hero, you must battle against large spiders, the undead, goblins, and a race of mysterious monsters that awaken from underneath the castle. Number 5, The Bard's Tale. In this comedic action RPG, players take on the role of an opportunistic musician driven by carnal desires. As the Bard, you are not interested in saving the world, only finding both coin and cleavage. Recruited by a cult, you must save a princess by taking on monstrous guardians, breakdancing corpses, singing goblins, and a giant fire-breathing rat. Fantastically voiced by actor Carrie Elwes, and narrated by the late Tony Jay, this game succeeded in thrilling gamers even without character classes or an inventory system. Number 4, Gauntlet. This arcade hit is one of the earliest fantasy and class-based hack and slash games. Thor the Warrior, Merlin the Wizard, Thera the Valkyrie, and Questor the Elf embark on a journey to defeat ghosts, grunts, demons, sorcerers, thieves, and death itself. Remade several times, this iconic series is often considered the grandfather of hack and slash games. Number 3, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance. While it may not be the timeless classic that is Baldur's Gate 2, when it comes to pure hack and slash, Dark Alliance gets the nod. This is one of the few spin-offs to make it to the home consoles, all while taking gamers back to the Forgotten Realms in a thrilling and decidedly linear action game format. Centered on a dwarven fighter, a human arcane archer, and an elven sorceress, these heroes must confront a great evil waiting in Baldur's Gate. Number 2, Neverwinter Nights. Employing the third edition of D&D rules, this adventure is centered on finding four monsters to make a cure for the Wailing Death, a plague sweeping the city of Neverwinter. As such, players create their own custom character before embarking on a lengthy journey into the unknown. Number 1, Diablo. Taking the top spot on our list is the iconic gothic horror that had gamers confront the Lord of Terror himself. Its simplistic gameplay is still the benchmark for dungeon crawlers today, and it gave the genre a gritty atmosphere filled with dread, anticipation, and terror. We still have nightmares about the butcher. Ah, fresh meat. <laughs> 